Welcome to another episode of From the Helm with Marine Max. I am your host, Lisa, and he is your host, Kelly, up there, Kitty Corner. And make sure you subscribe and follow us to keep up to date on all the voting news at Marine Max Leisure on Facebook, at Marine Max Online on YouTube and Instagram, and at Marine Max on Twitter. And drop your questions and comments in the video today because we want to hear from you. We want to hear your thoughts. And stick around. We have a very extra special video to debut later on, so you don't want to miss that. So without further ado, sure. in today's voting broadcast, we have Shelby Kirby, Director of Marketing, and Rich Fragel, Director of Sales for Sea Ray Boats. How you doing, Hello, guys? Hi. How are you? And we Hi. also wanted to say uh, for all the viewers out there, if you guys have any questions for Sea Ray, particularly, uh, definitely let us know uh, in the comments section. We'll be sure to uh, have Shelby and Rich uh, answer those questions. So, thank you guys for being here today. Cool. Great. Thanks for having us. Awesome. All right. So now that we're using the power of technology to communicate, I want to know, Shelby, where are you located today? Physically, where are you? Physically, in the, I'm in, in the world. In the <laughs> world. Well, I'm in my dining room, but <laughs> dining room slash office slash living room. I've kind of got yep. the whole thing going on here. I'm in Maryville, Tennessee. So I am about 30 minutes away from our primary manufacturing facility in Vaughn Orr. And um, I grew up here. So this is home. Oh, that's Beautiful. awesome. Uh, Richard, where are you today? So I live in Knoxville, Tennessee. So normally uh, my office sits on top of Santa's workshop, uh, but uh, given the current conditions, uh, we've all been working from home. So uh, that's where we're at. And uh, I try to change offices every day to keep things fresh. Uh, so today, here we are. That's awesome. Well, Kelly and I are both located in Safety Harbor, Florida. So uh, to yeah. Tennessee to Florida, <laughs> it's very good to have you. Um, well, and there's, it definitely goes to show too that there's boaters everywhere, right? And uh, boaters across the country, and uh, and people uh, just yearning to get back out on the water. Yeah, and of it, course. Yeah, it, it's been fun to see. I've been boating a lot in the evenings because uh, our weather's been fairly mild here in Tennessee, and it is encouraging to see the number of people that are out enjoying their watercraft. Uh, it is uh, people have a yearning desire to spend time on the water, and that's kind of why we do what we do. For sure. Yeah, of course. So. Rich, where did you get your love of boating? How did you start boating? So, so I grew up on the water. So I'm originally from Florida. Uh, so as you know, being from Florida, there's water everywhere, whether it's the Gulf or the river or the local lakes. And, uh, you know, so I grew up with the family. We were, uh, you know, stealing uh, my friend's dad's boat and skipping school and uh, learning to water ski. And just over the years, uh, have an affinity for being on the water. And, you know, some of the best times and memories that I have are on the water. And, now with my kids uh, being soon to be 13 and 15, I like to be able to instill that with them as well. And it's it's a love for the a love for the water. So that's awesome, um, Shelby. What about you? Well, same as Rich uh, in Tennessee, we've got fantastic lakes, not the oceans, but beautiful lakes. And um, every weekend, my dad would pick me up, and we would head straight to the lake on his blue sparkly fishing boat. And um, I had some of my best memories on the fishing boat and out on our wave runner. So it's really a dream come true to be able to work in this industry after uh, falling in love with the water at a young age. I, I have to agree. And you hear that story so many, I mean, that's my story. We used, we got a, a blue, it, ours wasn't sparkly, but it was a little blue <laughs> uh, sport boat. And we would go out every evening with my dad. We would, you know, pack uh, snacks and that's how I got my love of boating. It's how everybody starts, right? Well, and shout out to the lake boaters out there too, because I mean, yeah, it's so beautiful be, to be down here next to that ocean uh, in, in Florida, but also, I mean, there's just so many opportunities for lake boating all over the country and, and just like some of the best stuff and some of the best memories you have is being out on that lake. It's all quiet. You say something and it travels across that lake and uh, yeah, that, so shout out to all those people out there. Yes, of cool. course. So, all right. We just took a look back at our past. Sure. Uh, what about the, the history of Sea Ray? Let's get into that a little bit. Who, who wants to start? Ooh, me. We'll let, we'll let Shelby go. Okay. <laughs> this is one of my favorite stories. I, I love the history of Sea Ray. So it's a story that doesn't get told very often. So for those of you that aren't familiar, um, our founder was Cornelius Nathaniel Ray, C.N. Ray. And so Sea Ray actually came as a marine marinized kind of uh, derivative of his name. Um, and that's the picture you see here on the left. So in 1959, uh, he had come back from college, he went to UCLA and um, was working in his family business. And the family business was in aggregates. And so they worked in coal and sand and materials that just weren't very exciting uh, for C and Ray. And so he got together with one of his college buddies and they decided to do some research on companies they may want to invest in. And having had a really great power boating experience while at university, 
Um, he found this small company in Detroit uh, called Carcraft. And so what you see in the right hand image here was one of the early uh, images from their garage where they did the first manufacturing. But he purchased this company, um, Carcraft. They, was a, they made small fiberglass uh, boats. And then they also made golf carts and coffins. And he loved the, the boating business and not so much the golf carts and the coffins. And so um, that's kind of where Sea Ray got his start. And so first boats came off the line um, in 1960. Yeah, it's a really well, cool story. That is a pretty fun fact too, that uh, you know, you hear C Ray and you're like, okay, well, they just came up with a cool marketing name there. And and really that that it came from the founders. Mm -hmm, I did. One other interesting fact, if you look back at any of the old older pictures of the C Rays, and I think we may have a 1960s C Ray in, in sure. your photo deck there. Yep. Um, but but in the this whole side, in the back of the C Ray logo, there's there's like a little fin, and it's actually a, a stingray was part of the original C Ray logo. And so oh, you can see the stingray tail. And at the, the first boat show that Sea Ray ever participated in was the Chicago Boat Show. And there was a giant uh, tank full of stingrays that drew in a lot of attention uh, to, the, to the first display that we ever had, which is a pretty cool story, too. But, um, yeah, it, it's been a great brand. And the image you see here also, um, early days, CN partnered with um, an automotive designer to make sure that we were integrating some automotive designs in the interior. And it just absolutely it kind of set the tone for Sea Ray and for the brand. And it's been a luxury brand ever since. And you can totally see that influence of the of the car industry mm -hmm. too with this image of uh, the two people sitting there leisurely strolling through the waterways uh, in their beautiful Sea Ray. I mean, what a great shot that is. And you also notice the outboard engines, which you know yeah. Sea Ray has had a, a long history of stern drive engines, and also outboards in the last few years more recently. But kind of been a vein throughout the entire history of Sea Ray is just making sure we're adaptive to any different type of water and customer need. So cool. Wow. That's cool. Richard, anything to add to that? Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, the story of, of Connie and how he came to pass. It, it's interesting to talk to a lot of our dealers. So, you know, we recently celebrated our 60th anniversary at Sea Ray. Uh, we had a big party in Austin, Texas, and uh, we were able to recognize a lot of our dealers that had been in business at least 60 years. And it was amazing how many dealers across the country had been around and were personally signed by Sea and Ray. So it wasn't just a guy that invested money and started building boats. He was intimately involved with the business uh, and truly believed that taking care of customers was the future of Sea Ray. Uh, and so th the same way you guys take care of your customers, uh, you know, they're at Marine Max and I've been involved in some of the events and and uh, some of the uh, the things that you guys do with your customers. And, and that was really goes all the way back to Sea and Ray as the start of the business was the customers and the owners were the most important thing. Everything else was secondary to how we treated our owners. And uh, so it's cool to hear those stories uh, when you talk to dealers that have been around in some cases, as many as a hundred years uh, in continuous operation. So. It's, it's so interesting to put that like 60 years, a hundred years, that's a very <laughs> long time. <laughs> very long time. Especially when you're talking about something that's evolving constantly and every year you're adding new or making changes. Um, yeah. And just think of all the the innovations um, since, you know, bring, from the images that we just saw, you know, how much has changed uh, with the brand uh, just in terms of the innovation into the boats that you guys manufacture. It's just incredible. And, 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 and it's actually a short amount of time if you think about it. I mean, it yeah. sounds like a long time, but it, re it really isn't. Yeah, and, it, and it's, you know, you look at our team in Edgewater that does all the design and engineering for our boats and you every year you kind of sit back and you go, okay, what can they possibly come up with next? There's only so many different ways that you can design a boat. Architecturally, it's got to be able to float and perform on the water. So you kind of look at it and say, okay, what are they going to come up with next? And then every time we have a meeting and we sit down and they say, here's what we've come up with next, you're like, Wow, that is so exciting. Uh, it's also like wrapping your own Christmas presents. You know what's coming a long way <laughs> away and we can't talk about all of it, but uh, it, there's some really cool innovations uh, as it continues to evolve. And I think the beauty of innovation too is it's stuff, uh, you know, people giving you things that you didn't know you even needed and you didn't even know it existed and, and needed until it's sitting in front of you and you're like, why, why didn't I have that before? Now I, I definitely need that, especially in boating too. You know, there's a lot of things in the boating industry that you don't realize you need until it's sitting in front of you or until it's an option. Yep. That's exactly right, Kelly. You know, as Rich mentioned at our tech center down in Edgewater, inspired design is a critical element of the Sea Ray story. And it is all founded upon consumer insights. So we spend a lot of time talking to our owners to understand how are they using their boats before mm -hmm. we ever move forward into any other design projects. But 
that and then looking at other trends within other industries, it all kind of comes together and creates this beautiful package that is C-Ray. Yeah, and how much of it is, um, you know, when, when you speak with your customers or they speak with you and they just kind of have a passing statement of, hey, you know, it'd be great if you had this on the boat, just kind of jokingly, but at the same time, you guys are like secretly writing notes being like, that's a great idea. We got to yeah. incorporate that. We yeah, video okay. record a lot of our, oh, sorry, Rich, go ahead. No, yeah, I was gonna say a lot of times it's not even secretly, it's <laughs> immediately going, hey, that's an awesome idea. And, uh, and, and it doesn't always have to be, you know, something far-fetched. Sometimes it's just something really, really simple that there's an aha moment and everybody looks and says, well, why didn't somebody think of that before? We've been doing it for 60 years and nobody thought of that. How is that possible? So, yeah. Oh my gosh. Right. All right. Well, let's, let's take a look at some of these boats. Cause I know um, a lot of like, obviously the brand has been along for, for a very long time. And a lot of the families of boats have been along for, and have evolved over the years. Um, I think the Sundancer series is notably uh, one one of those those brands or one of the the family of boats that we'd really like to take a look at first. Oh, and Kelly's got the website up. Yeah, I just want to let everybody know. So as they uh, discuss this lineup of boats, I'm going to be kind of scrolling through their website. They have so many great pictures and so much great information on all the different uh, boats uh, for Sea Ray and all the lineups. So we'll we'll just kind of go through that as we talk. Well, the Sundancer is probably, it's our, our, our oldest family, so to speak. And the very first Sundancer actually came out in 1974. So Sea Ray has been synonymous with Sundancer for many, many years. And it's probably one of the most loved families in Sea Ray's history. Um, so what you're pulling up here is, um, it's several of our Sundancer models. Rich, do you want to talk about specific models? And let me, uh, you just mentioned something too. So I want to bring up that image okay. of the, uh, the Sundancer. Boom. Boom. Oh, the so first, there's the first Sunday answer. <laughs> the first Sunday answer. So it's come a long way, but it did, of course, have the galley down below and the convertible, uh, you know, seating area that converted to overnight sleeping. So we wanted to extend your weekend even, you know, back in the 70s and boy, the boats have come a long way. In fact, uh, you know, the Sunday answer 320, um, our most recently released kind of new, new style uh, Sunday answer is, is really just taken off in, in incredible ways. Sunday answer today. Yeah, so you can you can see the image there. So shall we talk yeah. about kind of the evolution? And and so we introduced the Sundancer 320 about three years ago now, um, and it, it really is a a game changer in the cruiser market. So it's, it was the first open bow cruiser to really hit the market. So instead of you know your traditional cruiser to access the bow, you're either having to climb around the outside of your hardtop or climb up through the center of the windshield. With the new Sundancer 320, we utilize a port side walkthrough and that allows us to access the bow and we've actually recessed the bow. So it's similar to a bow rider in that you can access the bow and sit comfortably in the bow of the boat, but still have full sleeping quarters down below. Um, and then people change how they've used cruisers over the years. And so when you talk to cruiser owners today, they spend less time overnighting on the boat and they really want to focus on the top side of the boat. Uh, so that's what the designers did with the 320 is to say, okay, how do we give them that open bow feel on the, on the, on the bow of the boat? How do we give them a cockpit? So there's plenty of room for all their friends and family. We're going to make it galley up because mm -hmm. nobody wants to go below deck. They want to be outside with their friends and family. No different than when you have a cookout at the house, you want to be out on the deck by the pool with everybody else. You don't want to be cooped up in the kitchen. So it's all galley up, but still a boat that you can overnight on. So it really blends the best of, day boating and overnight boating and then you really throw them a curveball and say okay now we're going to build a sun dancer that's traditionally been stern drive or v drive and we're going to put outboards on it uh so now we've taken it and we've opened it up to a whole new market when you look at the coastal environment right. and say now i've got an overnight cruiser with an open bow plenty of seating still in the cockpit area and I can go uh, in, in shallower waters and it's saltwater uh, friendly with an outboard setup. So it's really, really a cool boat. And um, so we're, we're on your website right now looking through some of the stuff. What can people expect in terms of information they can find uh, for these different models on your website? We've got everything from digital brochures and spec sheets. We've got full spec information. One of the newest features we've just recently added is a chat with sales. So our factory ah. sales team is also on standby to answer your questions about any of the models on the website. So if you're doing your shopping and um, you've got a question you need that answer to immediately, we wanna be there to help you. So 
Um, you could we show you all your interior, your exterior color options, all of the options that are available um, to make your boating experience custom to the way you like it. And I think Kelly, you're going to pop over to the build your boat so you can see what. All, all right, you. hey, <laughs> let's do it. I was I was <laughs> yearning to click that button there. This is his favorite piece of, of <laughs> everyone's website. He's such a car guy. He loves to build his own boats too. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, so just you can click your colors and you can change your, you know, your whole side colors and really kind of decide what color combination is perfect for you and your family. And it just helps that dream, you know, turn into love, so to speak. We also have a really great virtual tour back on the model page. So you can click into the boat and look at, you know, hatches and latches and everything, open them up and check and see what that shopping experience looks like. So very yeah. cool. Yeah. Excellent. And then, of course, you know, if you guys want to see all the specs on the boat, uh, length, fuel capacity, uh, beam, uh, it's it's all in here uh, in, with some in-depth uh, images too. So if you want to kind of consider layouts, uh, you can find all that on, on CRA.com. Very cool. Great. Yeah, very cool indeed. All right, so that's the Sundancer series. Um, I know you have a couple different families. Uh, do we want to move kind of like down in, you know, length uh, from Sundancer to SLX and talk a little bit about maybe the differences between the two? Sure. Uh, and, and so when you say down and link to the SLX, well, uh, with the caveat of uh, <laughs> the SLX is actually our largest boat now. Yeah. Uh, so the, the image that you see there is the SLX 400. Um, and that's kind of a similar concept to the 320 in that we wanted to blend the way people are using boats today. So this is when you think of large day boats, you think of a boat that you get on in the morning, you try to spend the day on. And then at the end of the day, you go home. Uh, this is a boat that's going to blend kind of the best of both worlds again. So it's a very large open bow day boat, but still has full sleeping accommodations below uh, for four people. So you've got a king bed in the midship, you've got a convertible bed in the bow, uh, you've got a microwave, you've got a shower, you've got a head, you've got all of that below, but still have t seating for 22 people on the top side. Um, and that image is one of my favorites. You can see uh, you can see the little squirt uh, doing this cannonball off the side of the uh, <laughs> side of the, the uh, swim terrace there. So the actual side of the boat actually folds down. Uh, so once you're at anchor, you fold that uh, swim terrace down. You open up your back seat there, and, you, and now you've got this great space to interact with the water um, and, and really have uh, just more space for everybody to move around. Well, and I think uh, that's something that has, uh, it, I'm guessing a lot of customers have been asking for that, right? This is something that, you know, having that fold down area adds a little bit more, uh, not only space when you're when you're anchored, but also just more entertainment area where you can hang out, you can do things. You, you notice that, like you said in that picture, she's jumping off the side like that, um, you know, without that fold down, it'd be a little bit more difficult to do things like that. Uh, so really cool to see. Yep. And, and just a side note, this image here we're showing with the outboards. We also build this boat uh, in a stern drive version as well. Uh, and so uh, with the exception of just a handful of models in the Sea Ray lineup now, depending on where you're boating and what your propulsion preference is, we build just about everything in stern drive or outboards, uh, with the exception of our 230, our 250 and our 280 SLXs. Otherwise, everything's available in both propulsions. So, Rich, can you kind of talk about, I mean, this is, what's the name, what do you guys call this boat? I know you have a pretty cool name for it, right? Uh, I'll, I'll let Shelby answer that one because it was her team that came up with it. I can't take the credit for that one, so. We call it the Entertainer, and that is exactly what it's designed for. And actually, I would probably use that same name across most of our SLXs, if not all of them, because they, the amenities that they offer in the luxury fit and finishes, they're designed for optimizing your day of entertainment. And so, well, whether it's two refrigerators or two grill tops, um, you can serve all those 22 friends as soon as, you know, we're back from social distancing and back to normal, yeah. so to speak. This will be the perfect boat for, for anybody. And also, one other comment. This year, we released the R packages on the 310, the 350, and the 400 SLX, yes. uh, which takes your engine and your whole experience up a whole nother notch, which maybe I'll let Rich talk to you a little bit more about Yeah, let's, let's expand on this R, R package. Yeah, so the, so the R package was launched uh, a little over a year ago, originally with the SLX 350. And so uh, we consistently heard from a lot of our customers that they love the luxury of the SLX. Uh, they enjoyed the performance and how it handled. But we had that clientele that wanted just a little bit more. The guy that really wanted to stand out, the, the owner that wanted to say, not only look at me, but look at me go fast. Yeah. Uh, so the SLX R uh, 350 was born. 
Uh, so we packaged the SLX 350 with twin 450 horsepower Mercury race engine. Uh, oh and people love the boat. It's custom interior, custom red lighting. We went as far as developing a custom color to paint the hull, and the boat really stands out. And we said, okay, well, how do we build on that? Uh, so at the Consumer Electronics Show this past year, um, we introduced the SLXR 400. Uh, so very similar concept, except it's got triple 450 horsepower Mercury race engine. So now you've got a 40 foot luxury day boat uh, that's just over 65 miles an hour. And then we added something extra to it, uh, which is the e-package. Uh, and so what the e-package is, is, is it's our Fathom system and it replaces the generator with a lithium ion battery pack. Um, so there's no gen set on the boat. So you can power everything on the e-model, all of the electronics, your refrigerators, your microwaves, your Seakeeper 3 gyro, if you equip it that way. All the auxiliary uh, accessories on that boat can be powered with the electric lithium ion battery set uh, that, we've, that we've named Fathom. Um, and one of the things that that does is that eliminates all of the noise, vibration, and harshness mm -hmm. of a generator. Uh, so now you don't have that hum when you're sitting there on the hook. You don't have the hum of the generator. You're not burning extra fuel. You don't have the extra emissions. And you can run about eight hours all of the systems. And then once you fire up these 450 horsepower race engines, it's going to continually recharge the batteries. Or you can recharge it once you get back and you put it on shore power. Well, that's just a go, – go ahead, Lisa, because this so is really cool. It is very cool. So it's, it's like a hybrid car, but a, a boat. So all of your engine uh, is still fully gas. So the propulsion itself is gas. Uh, the electric is just powering your auxiliary system. So again, your air conditioner, your seat keeper, anything that would normally right. be powered off of your batteries or off of your generator is now off the lithium ion batteries. Well, and you, you, you kind of mentioned uh, in the beginning how there are, uh, you go to the automotive industry for some of the inspiration on innovation. And I kind of see this as a kind of a more high performance version of mm -hmm. uh, a typical, I wouldn't say typical, but uh, a high performance version of one of your boats. So not only do you have the uh, the proper, you know, the 400, which is a, the entertainer, it's a great place to hang out and relax, but now you add in uh, triple R motors on the back and, and, and not only just the motors and the power, but the styling as well really is mm -hmm. ramped up with this model. And one of the cool things about this boat is showcasing it at CES in Las Vegas. It really put Brunswick on the world stage as a technology company uh, that was also in the boat business. And so typically when you think boat, you think motors and engines uh, and fiberglass. And so with this boat, there was so much technology in it. Shelby, you were highly involved in the setup at CES and, mm -hmm. and working with the team at Brunswick. Tell us a little bit about, you know, your perspective as to what CES did for us uh, at Sea Ray and Brunswick. Well, thank you, Rich. And I think one of the key elements there is Brunswick. For many people, when they think about Brunswick, their first thought goes to bowling or billiards, which Brunswick was, you know, that's been part of Brunswick's history. Brunswick is a 175 year old company. So it's been around a long time and part of a lot of businesses, but just in the last couple of years has really solely focused in on the marine industry and is one of the largest players in the marine space. And um, our, our CEO has made it very clear that it is his objective that we will, uh, we will not follow the industry, we'll define it. And so a lot of that definition comes from the technology side. So we have technical team leads that are working across Brunswick on the future helm experience. How will we transition ah. what the driving experience is like in the coming years? And we've got a very strong perspective on that. Um, how do we leverage more technology to make boating easier? It is our goal at, within Brunswick and Seat Ray to just make the boating experience as easy as possible. And part of that comes with having a, a clean, fuel efficient resting time while you're out on the water. And it comes with giving you the speed that you want to get where you want to go when you want to get there. Uh, it's just a lot of different versatility and options. But uh, it's in a really exciting time to be in the marine industry. It's an exciting time to be part of Brunswick. Well, in, in having that ability to get to a place like CES, I mean, a lot of people think that bo the boating industry is very tight knit and we don't kind of venture out as much as. But now ha having that ability to get in there with all the top technology companies in the world, it says, hey, we're boaters and we're here and, and we're, we're making waves, no pun intended. Of course. <laughs> you know, we're making waves in the industry and in, in the world of innovation when it comes to boating. And I think it was a, it was a showstopper at the show. A lot of people uh, check that out, huh? It was incredible. I think it was the most photographed boat in the entire world. And then to, to take that boat from CES straight to the Miami Boat Show and win the Innovation Award on that boat with our Fathom mm -hmm. system is just 
uh, it's been a fantastic start to the year. It really it's, cool. it's also cool to see um, uh, that kind of media being picked up outside of boating too. So a lot of these uh, these companies out there that normally they, they're just talking all things technology, if it's phones, mobile phones, smartphones, things like that, they're talking about boats now and, and how exciting to get that information out to uh, outside of the people that always just think boating, right? I mean, it's pretty cool. It definitely was. And one other comment from CES, I think we did a count of the number of photographs taken. I think it was like, you know, a hundred photographs in one minute and you could extrapolate that across the entire time that we were there. It was phenomenal. But to walk around and expect to see robots around every corner and, and many people <laughs> did, but then to walk and see a four, a 40 foot boat out of the water mm -hmm. up on its side was just, it blew everybody's mind. It was one of the coolest, uh, it was one of the coolest for me, spectator experiences, just to watch everybody else's face when they walk around the corner. It's great. Awesome. Well, yeah. Check out, the, check out the videos. There, there's videos online and uh, we, we've uploaded them, of course, because it's, it's such cool content. Uh, and, and of course on C-Ray's YouTube and on their website to, to learn more about the 400R. Awesome, thank yeah, you. Yeah, definitely a show staffing boat. The display at Miami was gorgeous. I can only imagine what that looked like out of the water. Yeah, definitely <laughs> show-stopping, especially with all that power on the back, right? Absolutely. All yeah, right, so, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, we had this really cool kind of hands-on experience at CES as well, where we've got a helm station over here. You couldn't board the boat because the, board, the boat was up off the ground and tipped at an angle. So yeah. there was no boarding accessibility, which was probably a safety precaution anyway, the yeah. number of people that would have been on board. But um, we had a helm over here, and you could get behind the helm, and you can control the engine. So the engines are moving, you know, remotely oh, man. it just adds to the whole you know technology experience it's very cool awesome that is very cool i i know i mean in today's global climate i think all marine dealers all marine manufacturers are trying to look towards technology and how they can connect better with with their customers and make make boating easier uh, i know marine max is definitely trying to make it as easy as possible for people to to continue boating um and we've seen a lot of people really really reach out and say hey I've always wanted to boat and now's, now's the time. So it's it's so cool to see the industry moving forward as a whole and all of this new technology. I mean, hybrid boats, what can we expect next from Sea Ray? <laughs> well, you know, Rich made that comment earlier about we know <laughs> what's coming, but we can't talk about it. <laughs> mm. I don't know, Rich, you want to give any teasers? <laughs> well, you know, to your point, making boating easy is, is going to continue to be a focus for us. Uh, when you look at um, the demographics uh, as the, the customer changes, uh, they're all they're not all salty old sea captains. So when you think about, uh, you know, twin engine technology and now you've got triple outboards and all of the different technology that's coming. One of the things, one of the tenants at Sea Ray is we want effortless performance. That doesn't mean we've got to be the fastest or we've got to be the, the quickest to plane or the most horsepower. But what we want to make sure is that power is there when you need it uh, and it's effortless. So whether you're leaving the dock or you're coming in from the dock, um, that we want to make sure that you're comfortable and confident. There's nothing worse than going out and and making one of the largest purchases that you'll ever make, making an investment in something that you've waited your entire life to do um, and you're uncomfortable operating it. So we put a, a strong focus on uh, different control systems like joystick. Uh, so when you're coming in and out of the dock that, that you can comfortably and, you're, and confidently uh, operate the boat. Um, one of the funniest shirts I've ever seen was, uh, honey, I'm sorry for what I said while docking the boat. Uh, so I like to think that we're saving marriages uh, through the use of joystick operation and, and other technology that we put on the boat. Um, but it, it's so part of it is making sure that we continue to, to utilize the technology and create new technology from a Brunswick uh, perspective. But what I can also tell you is when you look at boats like the 320 Sundancer and the SLX 400 uh, that are completely reshaping the industry as we move forward, um, I can tell you that Fort Lauderdale is going to be a very exciting boat show for Sea Ray. Well, you can expect to see Kelly and I running around with our little microphone, pulling people <laughs> aside and saying, show us what you got. <laughs> And if you guys, uh, of course, you know, uh, speaking of boat shows, Rich and Shelby, you're always great whenever we show up to get some really cool content and then show to all of our customers and fans out there. So uh, check our YouTube channel where uh, we, we've done a lot of really good content from uh, the, the boat shows this past uh, few months, I guess. It wasn't too long ago of all the new models, including that 400, uh, the SLXR. Yes, of course. Yeah, and, and I would say hats off to you guys for, you know, the virtual boat shows that you guys have been doing. I mean, when you look at the current environment, I'm, uh, I'm amazed every day at, at how uh, 
you know, exciting our dealers are getting even in this social distancing uh, and still finding a way to give owners and, and prospects access to boats. Uh, and we're still seeing boats sold every day because of things like you guys are doing with virtual boat shows and virtual walkthroughs and video walkthroughs and, and taking this remote world, no different than what we're doing today to say, how do we reach out to our customers in a different way in the current environment? Because our customers and owners still want to go boating. And so my hat's off to you guys for finding ways to continue to do that. So. Well, and I think what the customers also need to know too is, uh, you know, it started as, as boat shows, but this is going forward, this is what we're going to be doing. You know, we, we want to provide our customers a boating experience uh, online and, and talking to you two from Sea Ray and, and talking and showing all these different products that are available and where you can find them and how you can learn more. That's what customers are looking for. They want to. They want to learn. They want to see. They want to interact. And uh, so, talk about you know an everyday everyday boat show is basically what it's becoming online. Yep. Very exciting. Yeah. Yes, and of course, if you're watching right now and there's something that Kelly didn't list that you want to see, please let us know. We will make it happen. <laughs> yeah, and of course, if you guys have any questions for uh, for Rich and Shelby from C Ray, uh, leave them in the comment section, and and they'll be sure to answer them as we go along here. So. Yes. All right. So we've talked boats, we've we've talked the history of Sea Ray. Uh, what about events? What's going on with Sea Ray and their events? Well, you know, it's it's been an interesting time as we look yeah. at events, and um, just as Marine Max is doing a fantastic job, as Rich mentioned as well, bringing more events online interaction in this type of way. Uh, we're doing a similar activity within Sea Ray, so we've got some really fun events coming up. So right now we've got a wine and water Wednesday series. So on Wednesday nights. Um, Jean-Charles Boisset, who is a well-known vintner out of Napa Valley. He's got many different uh, vineyards and brands within his collection. Um, we do three taste, three bottle tastings every Wednesday. Um, and so you could spend 30 minutes on the Siri Facebook channel. I would encourage you to join us this Wednesday. Even if you haven't already ordered your wine, just join us for the pure entertainment. You'll learn something and you will certainly be entertained. Uh, for my husband and I, this has been our date night for the last few weeks. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is really great. So Wine and Water Wednesday, it's a watch party we host on uh, the Siri Facebook page. So that's first. Um, next, we've got um, a trop rocker who actually wrote a song called Keys to the Sea Ray. So how could you not love her? Ah! Her name's Isabella Stefania. And so she will be on Friday, May the 8th. And she's going to do a private concert from her home. Uh, I'm at least I'm assuming she'll be at her home. She lives in South Florida. And so um, she's agreed to come on and we'll be doing a watch party on the Sea Ray channel for Isabella. So come join us if you like drop rock. And then on the 15th of May, we have celebrity chef. Uh, his name is Chef Love. Chef Love joined us last year at our 60th anniversary uh, celebration down in Texas. So he is a riot. Um, but he is known, uh, he's got restaurants, got one of his main restaurants here in in Knoxville, Tennessee, but he's kind of known for this Western cuisine. And um, he's gonna do a perfect boating meal to take on board. So he'll be doing a live cooking mm -hmm. demonstration. We're gonna send out in advance um, the recipe. So if you guys wanna buy your ingredients and cook along with us, please do. So that's uh, Chef Love. You can find all of our events on the Siri Facebook page and just look at events and it'll tell you everything else is coming up. And then the last one I wanna mention is on May the 22nd. And that is with um, Captain Sandy Yant. She is from Bravo's Below Deck Mediterranean series, which I believe that show kicks off uh, its new season in um, June. So she'll be with us in May to talk a little bit about what's coming up on her show as well as our Captains of Industry tour. So we are planning, fingers crossed, that in July, on July the 11th, we'll be kicking off um, our next Captains of Industry event in Austin, Texas on July the 11th. And so that is, um, you can learn more about that at CRA.com. We've got 10 different event locations across the United States uh, scheduled through now, well, through July, through October. And <laughs> assuming everything's safe and we can deliver an event that is safe and healthy and good for everybody, uh, then we'll be in, hopefully inviting many, many people to come and join us. So definitely check those things out. Awesome. I mean, you just booked up my calendar, I feel I like. <laughs> Every week. <laughs> so I, I have to know more about this Water and Wine Wednesday. So you can actually participate in the tastings at home. You can get, you can buy the bottles up yeah, so through C-Ray or how do I get more information about that? Yes. Yeah, so if you go to the C-Ray the C -Ray Facebook page and click on events, then we have an event listing for every single week. And there's a link there and you can save 20%. So there's 20% discount for anybody who comes to the C-Ray channel. Boom. I know. Love it. And we have a custom trio that's designed every week. Um, 
So Kelly, you won't see it on the Siri.com page. It's definitely only on Facebook. But um, we've got a trio tasting for every week. So there's a vivacious collection and the, uh, I mean, there's so many different collections. But right now, I think, um, actually, I'm not sure which bottles are in this next one, but the wine is delicious. You'll find a new favorite bottle every single week. And again, it's a great date night. If you're not getting out much right now, it's a perfect way to stay home and, you know, have entertainment that's live and free and great wine. So it's great. It sounds like a perfect night to me. <laughs> well, and I've, I've been seeing some really cool stuff coming from your Facebook channel. It's always popping up, you know, new things are happening. Could you tell us a little bit more about what, what are some of the things that people can check out uh, if they, you know, if they're on Facebook, if they like you on Facebook? Oh yeah, we do have more great, we've got great content coming out. So we did a, a Facebook Live here recently with our designers. So if you'd like to understand more about how Sea Rays are designed, um, you can talk to the people who design Sea Rays. And it's, it's a fascinating interview that I had the pleasure of hosting. And then also, Rich, do you want to talk about the the, the video you just released? Yeah, so uh, this past week, uh, Joey Sharp, who works on our product team, so Joey and I uh, hosted this past week and uh, talked through the product family, so to help folks to say, okay, what Sea Rays right for me, because we do have a very broad product line. Uh, and so we spent uh, about 30 minutes talking through uh, the different uh, options that were available and uh, the different model families on Sea Ray as well. And, and uh, we've got uh, some other content coming next week, I believe, Shelby. Yeah, we, we are doing everything that we can to load our schedule up so that every week we're bringing you some type of great educational content. And then, of course, great entertainment because, you know, boating's a lifestyle that's full of entertainment and friends and wine at times and education. <laughs> and so, uh, so that's the work we want to do for, for you guys, for our customers out there, is make sure we're bringing you great, relevant information. So check our events page. We're loading new events all the time um, on Facebook, and we'd love to have you join us. All right. You heard, heard it here first. Definitely check out Sea Ray Boats on Facebook. Uh, I know your Instagram channel is actually mm -hmm. really cool right now. I, I, went, I re just recently looked, and the images with the time on it, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it, I see it on Facebook too, but it's more impactful when you see it on, on Instagram because you can see them all together. Uh, could you beautiful. just kind of talk about what that means? And if sure. you haven't checked it out, you've got to check out uh, Sea Ray Boats on Instagram. It's just, it kind of hits you in the heartstrings. <laughs> I, thank you, Lisa. That just made my whole day. Um, yeah, we, we have a great Instagram channel. And there's a couple of things I want to point out. And I definitely want to come back to the moments um, because that's a core part of who C-Ray is. But on IGTV, so our Instagram TV, there's like a little button there you can click if you're not familiar. Uh, we're putting out a lot of training videos. So mm -hmm. Joey, that Rich just mentioned, is doing a ton of quick bite, two to five minute, how to, tr how to set up your Bluetooth, how to, you know, work yeah. on your keeper, how to deploy your swim terrace little pieces of information that some people, you know, as they're learning their new boat can find very helpful and informational. So that's there. We're pumping that channel full of content all the time. So definitely check that out. But the moments that you just talked about, you know, for Sea Ray, it's really important to us that what we deliver is perfectly crafted moments. It's part of our tagline, every moment perfectly crafted. We know that now more than ever, every moment is so special and it matters so much um, that we want to focus on what are those special highlight moments as part of, you know, the boating lifestyle that you lead or the moment you realize that what really matters is your family and the, the, the time that you have together. So, mm -hmm. um, that's part of that campaign. And then, um, just, uh, just very recently, we've also added, uh, now's the time. So if for some of you now is not the time you're, you're, you're in maybe in the state where the waterways are closed or you can't leave your home. But if you are in a place that has kind of come back to life and is, ready to get out there and have that staycation with your family. Um, we do also have some really nice offers for you available uh, through Siri.com. So you go to Siri.com, click that button, and um, you'll see what offers are available on all the different Siri models. And Rich, do you want to add anything? Yeah, I would just, just echo that. We understand that, uh, you know, some areas are more constrained than others right now, and there's still some restrictions out there. But um, if it is the time, uh, we want to be your boat of choice. And uh, so there are great incentives out there to help during this time. Uh, and so if now's the time and you're ready to pull the trigger, um, there's not a better time to buy a new Sea Ray. And, and uh, so over the last few weeks, our manufacturing facilities have begun a phased approach to restart. So um, the health and safety of our owners and our team members and our employees have always been number one. And so when the pandemic started, uh, we made a very difficult decision to temporarily suspend operations at all of our facilities. Uh, but I'm really happy to say that over the last couple of weeks, we began a phased approach uh, with great safety protocols in place to save our team, to, to help keep our team members safe. 
Uh, but we've got brand new boats coming out the other end of our Teleco facility and out of our Sykes Creek facility right now. So uh, we've got boats. Uh, we know that we've got retail customers that are waiting on their boats that are in process. Uh, we've got boats that are ready. We've got customers that are ready to make decisions on new boats now. Uh, and we're functioning and we're up and running and we're ready to build a new sea rate for you. Well, that is paired with what Marine Max is doing with deliveries and virtual tours. I mean, you can literally get your boat from your couch, delivered to your house and never have to leave your house, which is great. So set you right up for your staycation. Yep, you've definitely come a long way. And between the Sea Ray website, and I know that we work very, very hard to make sure we have a walkthrough video of every single piece of inventory that Marine Max receives. So you can, you can walk through the actual boat that's sitting on the ground that could be delivered right to your house. Uh, so we're making sure we're, we're, we have everything for you. Any question that you want answered, We've got live chat on our website. Like seriously, if you want to get into boating or you have any questions, there's so many people standing by to help you make that happen. It's it's cool. And at 5.01 p.m., you know what? <laughs> Best place to be is on that boat with your family. That's right. <laughs> hey, Shelby, you did mention that IGTV, uh, uh, the training videos that you guys are putting together. Um, one thing I hear from, from boaters in general is, how do you do this? How do you do that? Questions, right? Um, and it's always, how do I, you know, connect my phone to the Bluetooth? How do mm -hmm. I do this? So could you tell us a little bit about, you know, is this something that customers have been asking for and, and, and what better way to answer questions than put it on video, right? Absolutely. Well, you know, we, we were talking to our customer service team and to many of our dealers and what are the pain points that our customers have in their process? And it may, it may just simply be a training or an education opportunity. So uh, we made a list not highly scientific. We made a list of all the, the things that people were kind of struggling with. And we worked with some of our partners like Fusion and Simrad, who are fantastic Fusion on the audio side and Simrad on our, our digital display side, just to say, okay, our customers are having questions with these following things. How can we help make this boating experience easier for them? So um, we did want to create kind of bite-sized, you know, mm -hmm. video chunks. So you don't have to watch two hours to get to, to the piece of information that you're looking for. Um, so they're available on YouTube. They're, they're being uploaded into Facebook on a Tip Tuesday schedule. So we're just kind of putting them there. Um, and then also on IGTV. So um, they're going to be coming out there many different places, but certainly Instagram, you can find them all right now. And as soon as they're, the editing is done, we're loading them up. So we, uh, we did a big photo shoot at the end of February. Good timing. Um, <laughs> and during that shoot timeline, we were able to capture some great content on some of the training. And it was on uh, the SLX R310, the SLX R400, the Sea Keeper gyroscope, and some of the features on those boats. So, um, yeah, we've got some great content out there and we want to keep it coming. So, if you have questions, I mean, mm -hmm. to your earlier comment for anybody who's watching, post them here. I would love to see a video on XYZ. Uh, we would love to know that so that we can make sure we're helping deliver the best uh, you know, experience for you. I bet you there's a lot of Marine Max uh, service team members too that are thanking <laughs> you very much because when a customer is like, how do I do this? They're like, here, send it right to their phone. There's a video on YouTube and all they have to do is watch it and they'll figure it out. Yeah, exactly. Make boating easier, right? That's what we're all in it for. Yeah, for sure. And less time boating. It's been less time trying to figure things out. Yeah, exactly. Very well said. <laughs> Yeah, and, and Joey does a great job with him. Joey's the guy I call on the weekends when I can't figure something out. So he, uh, if, if he can teach me how to do uh, different control systems, he can teach anybody. So <laughs> totally agree. That's great. Oh man, well, I thank you so much for joining us again. I know I've said that like three times. Uh, everyone's busy, and we just really wanted to share the Ray story. There's so much to talk about from such an innovative brand with longevity. Um, if you need more information about Siri, let us know. We'll definitely get it to you. Um, make sure to follow them at Siri Boats, uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever your social media cho of choice is. Search Siri. You will find them. They are there. Um, Kelly, I know we have a, a video to close today out. Kelly uh, or Rich or Shelby, do you want to kind of intro what we're about to see here? Yeah. So this this video was created by somebody on my team. Actually, she had this great vision of kind of as we come out of this pandemic situation and return back to a life that we're ready for. Let's leave this in our wake. And I just think it's inspirational and thoughtful and draws on your heartstrings. So we wanted to share it with you guys. All right. Rich, right. any final words? 
No, I, I look forward to doing this again with you guys. Uh, the last one I did with you guys, we were out in the Gulf, anchored out, <laughs> uh, with the wrapped up. I can, but well, it's fun to see you guys today, and I always enjoy talking with you guys. Uh, next time, let's make sure we're in the cockpit of a boat and we're somewhere sunny, uh, yeah. not sitting in living rooms, dining rooms, or laundry rooms. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing you guys again, but hopefully the next one's going to be on the water. So. I'm always on the water in my head, though. So if you just kind of visualize that <laughs> while we're getting through this, yeah, for sure. Um, and before we leave, is there anything else you guys want to say to uh, to the viewers out there before we uh, end today? I just like to say thank you for joining us. If if you're still with us, and hopefully you are, um, post pictures of your sea rays. If you're a sea ray owner and you've got a vintage sea ray or a sea ray from last year, I I get so tickled and so excited to see all the pictures from our boaters out there. So post those pictures. We'd love to see them and. Uh, we hope you enjoy our video. Happy boating. That's great. All right. Well, let me, uh, let's see if the technologies are working. Rich, anything from you before we head out? Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody on the water. So, Well said. All right. So if the technologies work with me today, bring it in, and we'll <laughs> see you all uh, out on the water. Thank right. you. Take care. When this is in our way, and we've put today's troubles behind us. We will be stronger. And we will be closer to our families. We will kiss the sun and touch the water and enjoy all the things we've missed. We will be changed for the better, and we will be reminded of what matters most.